We're underway here, Intercol 2023, the first 11 soccer between Christian Brothers College and Blackfriars. Here today, big game on the cards for both sides. A lot of history between these two schools as well. My name is Johnny Kecko, bringing you all the action here today. Big game of Intercol. It's in the area, it's open, and it's an early goal! In the opening moment to Blackfriars. Incredible, from Alex Balicella. To open the scoring here today, what an incredible start, and it's... What the fans came out to see, all their classmates, all getting around them, an early kickoff. The Simon Canizaro side they haven't won the last four years, but they've had a great start in the opening minutes. Now put Marcello Karuska's side on the back foot in these opening moments here at West Beach Parks. Didn't get to introduce the game entirely with that early, early goal for Blackfriars. Perfect conditions here this morning for football. Another opportunity again for Blackfriars. Quickly cleared out though. Looks like Simon's side very eager to get this early, early lead and continue it on as well. Playing it out in the middle. It's turned over, Mitchell. Brock Mitchell. This will be a throw in though for Blackfriars. been undefeated so far this year and won the grand final in the Div 2 as well so come in strong here today against CBC and a 7-2 win against Cardigan College as well to gain promotion into Div 1 next year so this side is coming in strong here today against this Tough opponent. Loud roars over West Beach. Simmons. Aloisi. It's Cavuto now. It's in the area. Got to get around James. It's Cavuto. James does well. It's quickly cleared. Habonamana. It'll be a free kick. The CBC. It's a large crowd here at West Beach today. Coming busloads to get behind these two sides. A long history as well. Last year, massive crowds as well down at Jerps Cross at Service FM Stadium. This time, close to the beach side. Last year, 4-2 win to CBC. This time around, Simon Cadenzaro side, Blackfriars. Managed to get the lead in the opening moments. Just a little bit of a early injury. Not that hopefully it's nothing too bad. Not too serious. It's Nathan Owen. The captain for Blackfriars. Also plays 
for the reserves the Adelaide Olympic it's not it's not a great great signs at the moment will be a huge loss earlier on in the game if that's the it is as serious as it may look he's opening five minutes down near West Beach haven't disappointed so far it's nothing hopefully the magic spray can't can't fix just the expression so it doesn't look like it it will be good for for the captain as he gets clapped on off by his side huge numbers here as well and it does look like it will be calling it a date He's signalling to the bench for substitution. Won't be able to continue on, unfortunately. Let's hope it's not as serious as it as it looked to be. He landed on that knee as well. That's come right up to me. Got my first touch of the game. That could have gone very wrong, <laughs> very bad, very quickly. Well, right in the action here at West Beach. Hello, AC. Triani. Battistella fighting out over Yubi. A little nick there from Yubi. A little bit of friendly fire between these two sides as well. Battistella just played it out. Turned over to CBC. Just struggling at the moment. An unusual from Karuska's side. We've been strong in the last four occasions against this time this team in the Intercult. Second year in a row that these two coaches come up against each other as well. And Katazaro and Karuska. Check with it. And it will be the first card of the day here as well. In attendance down here today. For this occasion. Right, <laughs> sent in to the area and will be goal kick. Adrian Guglietti. To take the goal kick. Santafanti. Simmons. Aloisi. Sends it along. We're searching for Cavuto. We'll be cleared just for the time being though. Black Fryer's working hard. Great little pass from Batistella. Finds Tang. Fortunately, couldn't get there. Jacob Tang, teammate with 
Matthias Aloisi and Adelaide United Youth Reserves. But today they're against each other in this intercoal fixture as well. Ayubi. It's a long ball. Will be left. Cullen James leaves it. For risky though. Zuna. Ayubi. Plays out Saliba. And Simmons. Gets it on his right. Simmons, top corner. A great shot there, unfortunately. Off the crossbar. And placement there was beautiful. It could have been an equaliser for CBC. This place would have erupted. One ball sent in to Yubi. Hayes. Habibi plays it out. Now CBC trying to push forward through Mitchell and will be a throw in for CBC again. Check Whitten to take the throw. Tries to find a UB. It's quickly cleared long. Sinterfanti. It's back to Guglieri. And it will be a free kick. On Cavuto, Daniel Cavuto. Chris calls. For offside anyway. The freeze flag was up. Waiting for the official to see him. Trioni. Oh, great ducking from the referee. It will be a free kick. Given CBC. Alex Centafanti. A name that's very well known in the South Australian NPL. A lot of familiar names in today's two sides. In the local football scene, Aloisi, there's one of them on the ball again, finds Riley Simmons. See out wide, tries to get around, he's got a couple of numbers there, does well. Finds Saliba, Saliba he tries to get into the area, will be quickly cleared though. Abonamana. Cavuto. Tries to get it to his left. Saliba. <laughs> Sintafanti. Hayes. Does well. Aloisi. Simmons. It's Aloisi back on the ball again. TBC doing all right to string, string a few passes together. Now trying to fire forward. And it will be cleared long. Whoa, and that's way out of here at West Beach Parks. Someone's got to try and get the keys to the gate to get that. It's a rowdy crowd here today as well. Both teams have brought their 
supporters in numbers. CBC, the 10s, 11s and 12s in attendance. Everyone loves to get around this, this fixture. The 17th annual intercollegiate event between these two, two schools. This year held across three days, six events, 52 teams, eight venues and approximately 600 students involved in all sports across the fields including chess, basketball, football to name a few A lot of boos across West Beach Park. As referee tries to settle things down. Throw in and Bonamana is there. Thang Ayubi tries to get it to Simmons. Let's go for the bounce. Saliba, Ben Saliba does very well to find Riley Simmons and it will be out for a throw in note. Quickly looked after, just a little bit of friendly fire, a few words given between the two players. That's what this rivalry does as well. Second this time, the goalkeeper Adrian Guglieri. A Bonamana tries to get there. Saliba. Now Luisi to Yubi. Let's it go. James finds Battistella and it's just over. Bellastella, Adelaide City, he's a fringe first team player. Scored four goals last week as well for Blackfriars. Great young player. Oh, that one's straight into the stands. I normally think you have a safe spot in the grandstand, but nowhere safe in this fixture today as we've seen plenty balls around the place the commentary box one of them as well Alex Centafanti Ayubi will be a free kick just a little bit Was Bailey Everett on the end of that one? Didn't come off too bad. Luckily. Colin James. He's forced back. Aloisi got a lot of Numbers around him with Bonamana and Tank. Matias Aloisi. A 
the son of Ross Aloisi, former LA United player. Saliba sends it long. Ayubi's there. Can he try and keep it in? It does so. Simmons is there as well. He's quickly trying to clear it. Aloisi back on the end of it. Can they produce something, CBC? They're in the area now. But quickly turned over. Once again. Saliba. Gets around Balicella. And right in front of the Blackfriars support. Takes a throw. Hayes plays it back to his goalkeeper. Hayes back on the ball, finds Matias Aloisi. Goes through the centre. Spots Riley Simmons. That's forced out wide. Does well to get around the couple and will win the free kick just outside the area. Be a dangerous position as well. Ben Saliba calling for it. We'll take it on his right. Saliba just over the crossbar, a bit too much on it, unfortunately. With all Blackfriars plays in the area as well, heavily defending. Christian Lupino, goalkeeper, sends it out. And quickly finds his way out for another throw in on the other side of the pitch. Twenty-three minutes of play down here. Seventeen to go in this first half football. Christian Butler's College also a couple of months ago linked to have a link to Tottenham as well. The English side, and as we know as well, the sister school, Ross Trevor, also linked with Man City. So great to see schools linking up with some big clubs around the world. Be great to see what this does for the game and for the future of these players as well, having links to big clubs from the European leagues. So Yubi and greeted with big cheer, big jeers there from the Blackfriars scholars. And assistant coach Jai King Burn of Blackfriars knows too well how big of an occasion this is. Also a an old scholar as well of Blackfriars few years ago. Now the assistant coach alongside Simon Catanzaro. Been involved in the side for a few years now. Passing in the centre circle. Very well done Abonamana. It's 
One by Saliba. Matias Aloisi firing through the middle. Does well. Still manages to try and win the ball back. Does so. We'll be out for another throw in. For CBC in front of the dugout of the away side here today. Now creeping to final 15 minutes. Only 40 minutes in this in this fixture for the first half and 40 for the second. And if it is remains, scores remain tied at the end of the 80 minutes, we will go straight into penalties to side the winner. But here's another opportunity again. Isaac Matakoulis sends it out. We had a great positioning there to try and double the lead for Blackfriars. And the crowd knew exactly the opportunity he, did, he missed with the roars from the Christian Brothers College fans behind the goal. Perfect viewing of that one. It's left from Battistella. Great leap over the ball, thinking there was someone there to take it. TBC will take that. Tabibi back on the ball. It's turned over. Free kick just outside the area again for it's time for Blackfriars. So within range, could go for the shot from this angle. Looks like Balicella may take it. He will leave it for his captain. Crowd, CBC, can he do it straight into the wall? It's about to sell it back on the end of it. It's deflected out. CBC still hanging in this game. I think. With triple substitution, CBC. Marcello Carrasco trying to change things up. Calvin Phyllis, one of those to come on, on the ball now. Tentafanti plays it out from the back. Hayes. Hayes with the long ball. Vudo's lurking. Simmons. Everett. Balacella. It's whacked out of danger by Bailey Everett. For Blackfriars, will be a throw in. <laughs> K 
Calvin Phillips the substitute to take the throw trying to get away with a few metres there referees not having any of it it's like a good 10-15 metres maybe 10 metres he's trying to get in it's Mason the UB James Black Friars still holding on to that lead. Div 2 champions taking on the Div 1 champions in CBC. Close to making some more history here today. I haven't won in the last four occasions in the Intercult against CBC. And this is the first year that they've gone undefeated as well. in the Division 2 season. It's calmed down a little bit here in these final eight and a half minutes at West Beach Parks. Shot from long range. Not dangerous enough from Blackfriars Matthias Aloisi Moore Simmons is the target on the end of it finds himself back on her out wide though Phyllis Ollie Simmons fighting hard. It will be a throw in. Phyllis to take it very quickly. Cavuto gets it on his left. Cavuto with a shot. Lupino flying there. Had it covered, but it does go wide. Still plenty of time for CBC to get back into this game. They've done well with these changes. They've looked a little bit different. With the th triple substitution. Phyllis, one of those. Matias Aloisi. Just plays it back. Cameron Hayes. Through ball. Looking to try to find Cavuto. It will be a corner kick though for CBC. So Oscar Moore to take it. Or since a fancy maybe. It's in the area. Simmons tries to get on his left and will be out for a goal kick. Great defending. Blackfriars and CBC both have Strong squads in today's first 11. It's a long ball. No danger at all. It's Phyllis. It's Matthias Aloisi. Riley Simmons. Right. 
Saliba. Saliba on his right and sends it out wide. Will be corner kick though. And it was deflected. Crowd's quietened a little bit over the last few minutes. I'm sure. An equaliser here from CBC would definitely liven things up going into the halftime break. It's set in the area. It's flicked in and will be saved. By Christian Lupino. Hasn't had much work cut out for him in this fixture so far. It's left from Glieri. Saliba. Oscar Moore. Playing down the wing. It's cleared out for Cullen James. Plays for Metro Stars under 17s. The left fullback. His coach Simon Cadenzaro says he has a bright future ahead of him. He's done well in this game so far as well. Karen Hayes whips it over. Plays the under 15s. JPL at Comets. A lot of players, as I was mentioning earlier, play for NPL and State League sides in South Australia. Some playing first team football at such a young age. Calvin Phyllis. AUB is lurking. Spencer Lieber. Does well. Shot there from Everett. Goal kick now for CBC. In the final minutes of this first half. Oh. Abon and Mana. Very well done. Clear it of danger. Just for a little while though, Trioni. Spotted Jacob Tank. A little bit too much put on that pass. Will be a goal kick. As we make our way into the final minute of the first half here of normal time. Only the one goal so far in this first half. Coming from Batacella in the opening minutes. Phyllis. <coughs> Oscar Moore. Brock Mitchell. Western Strikers plays under 18. Debuted a few weeks ago for the seniors as well. A UB. Saliba to take the throw in. It's 
like he's going to take a long throw. He does so. Didn't pay off though. He's open for Blackfriars to try and attack forward. Batacella on his left. Finds Tang. Couldn't control it. And Saliba for Christian Brothers College. Left out for a throw in. And that is half time here at West Beach Parks. Blackfriars go into the half time break. 1 0 up over Christian Brothers College. They take the lead. And don't go anywhere. Another 40 minutes of football. Still to come in his first 11 of the Intercult. We're we'll back with, you, with all the action in that final 40 minutes or potentially penalties if we needed to decide a winner after full time. Don't go anywhere. This is the 2023 Intercult between Christian Brothers College and Blackfriars.
Welcome back to West Beach Parks for the second half of the Intercult 2023 between Blackfriars and CBC. Blackfriars kicking it all off for the second half. Kicking to the left of your screens in their blue and black strip. CBC to the right of your screens, kicking left to right in their all purple. And very lively from the Blackfriars in the second half. Their fans coming in leaders 1-0 from the halftime break it's Nathan on injury not as bad as it first seemed in that early part of the first half but Estella the goal scorer scored in the opening minute to get inside the lead. No goal since that moment though. But I'm sure as last year there will be more goals in the second half. This fixture does get lively. Especially with the Blackfriars shooting in front of their home support as well. It's in the area. It's across the face of goal. Still alive though. Trioni tried to whip it in. It does look like he may have injured himself. In the meantime as well. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. This play got in the way. As he went to have the shot. It was like hitting a brick wall. We'll get over it pretty quickly, hopefully. Be able to run it off. Perfect conditions down here in West Beach. On your match day commentator, Johnny Kecko for the second half football. Intercol 2023, bringing a lot of action. These two sides, very strong sides competing. The champion from Div 1 v Div 2 here today. Newly promoted and undefeated Blackfriars taking the lead in the second half. Oscar Moore set long. Alex Interfanti back on the ball. Plays it forward. CBC back to Centafanti. Gugliari. Ben Saliba. <coughs> Brock Mitchell. Oscar Moore. Plays for Vipers. Matias. Oscar Moore on the ball again and does tries to go for a shot didn't come off the boot the way he would have wanted will be back into the hands Christian Lupino with a long ball Moore Ayubi Moore, Matias Aloisi. It's firing forward to Yubi. Tries to keep it in, does well. He's got Mitchell there. Matias. Phyllis. Back to Matthias Aloisi. CBC stringing a few passes together. Trying to push forward is Aloisi. He plays it out. Deflection. Sees it back into the position of 
Black Fries. Unfortunately, could not be kept in by Saliba. We throw in. UB That is still up Busload of students leaving the game Off to back to school. There's an early kickoff here today. So UB. It's fighting with James. It will be a throw in. Black fries. Mitchell Ben Saliba Sintafanti finds Phyllis he's trying to go through that left in CBC Moore couldn't get around thank Fanti. It's fighting hard. CBC back in the area now. Trying to produce something. It's quickly dealt with though. Thang plays it out. Medakulas. James. So Yubi. Quick turn. He spotted Cavuto. Cavuto's there. And it's dealt with Nathan Owen. CBC have looked a lot more lively in this second half so far. Aloisi. Not enough power on the end of that one to do any harm. And the CBC fans behind the goals. Trying to make as much noise as possible. If it, they do score a goal in front of their home support, CBC, the noise will be very loud down here at West Beach. It's Habibi. So Bellasella wins the corner kick. Will be the captain Nathan on to take it. Pace for our late Olympic reserves. A lot of numbers. It's crammed into the box. Goes near post. So Yubi now tries to get it out quickly. It's Cullen James chasing them down and it's taken over. It can it be a goal? It is! It's Daniel Cavuto gets the equaliser for CBC. And they're back in this game. Fifteen minutes. Into this second half, 25 minutes to play, and it's now equal. Oh. 
We've managed to get back in this. And then we've got a massive game on our hands for the final 25 minutes. They just did not give up Marcello Karuska's side. Come out firing in that second half as well. Nathan on. They kick things back off. Got to try and get back into this game. Now we hear the, the fans back up nice and loud. Oh. Patrick Olovic on the end of that one. Very acrobatic as well. Flying through here. We see planes taken off in the backdrop as well. The Adelaide Airport. Only flying happening down here is the ball flying into the back of the net. Happened twice in this game so far. Cavuto. Score the equaliser. And CBC looking a bit more lively. Pelicella straight into the CB into his uh, well, Blackfriars support. Ben Saliba to take the throw. <coughs> Daniel Cavuto, the goal scorer. Trying to get into another dangerous position. We'll win the free kick. Outside the area. Again. Dangerous positioning. Looks like Mason Ayubi will be putting himself over the ball to try and take this free kick. All men in the box for Blackfriars. To try and defend this. Could be very costly if they can let go of that early lead. Referee chest to his assistant referee. Nathan Owen slowing things down here. A UB. Mason the UB. First team player for Burkella. Straight to the hands. Not much work there for Christian Lupino. Alex Sintafanti Phyllis flicks it over We're trying to find Riley Simmons see how for a throw in Still low scoring in this fixture today. The last few have had at least four goals in it. The last time we saw a draw, a one-all draw, was back in 2015. 
And then since then, been a minimum of three goals in each of the fixtures between these two sides. The chance is starting from CBC. Been the lively, liveliest of the two. Trying to get some chance start, started. Simmons to Matias Aloisi. On his left, whips it in. Brock Mitchell was there. Well, she couldn't get on the end of it. If he did, that would have been an eruption from the CBC fans. Scholars. Brock. Here's Cavuto. It's Matias Aloisi. Plays it to Simmons. Now Yubi. It's quickly dealt with by Cullen James. A bit too much on the end of it. For it to get back on it. It will be a throw in. To be taken by Isaac Arnold. Got a bit of work to do now. get back <laughs> Phyllis just getting a talking to from the referees the officials and it will be a card as well a yellow card to Phyllis and CBC to a third of the game Eighteen minutes left of play in the second half. If it does end at a draw at full time, we will go straight to penalties. And as Australians, we know. I think we've had enough of penalties with the Women's World Cup. Twenty penalties in that one game against France for the Matildas. Obviously, a different level here, but college football taken just as seriously. Every game, especially at this age as well. I'm not sure anyone would want to enjoy 20 more penalties. The way things are going, still plenty more goals in this game from other side. Although. CBC have been the more lively of the two in the second half. Come out firing, but now it's Black Fries trying to get back on the attack. Brock. Saliba. Brock Mitchell back on the ball in the area. And it's gone out wide. It's still in though. He somehow managed to stay in. It's whipped back in. And Lupino cleans it up nicely. Thank. Ballastella, too heavy of a touch, sends it out. It's a long throw. Free kick on Oscar Moore. Taken quickly. Saliba. Sounds of what? Sounds like barking noises from the Blackfriars support. Trying to distract their 
opposition a wasteful what looked like a shot there from Mason Ayubi substitution for Blackfriars back to the bench Simon Catanzaro looks like Captain Nathan Owen will be coming off Joseph Gareffa to replace him. <laughs> Cleared out by Cullen James. Corner kick to be taken by Ben Saliba. We head into the final 14 minutes of normal play. Just waiting for the second ball to come back in. He's whipped into the area. Brock comes flying up. Will be a goal kick. Substitution this time around for CBC. Changing things up will be Mason the UB. Heading to the bench. It's brother Austin the UB. Metro Stars. Young winger. Samuel Vasilevsky replacing Mason Ayubi getting in on the action early Callan James to take the throw Vasilevsky Saliba. It's always fun taking a throw right in front of the away supporters. The opposition. A little bit of heckling. It's a long ball. Searching for Everett. Orlovic back in the area. Balastella is there. It's not cleared out. Saliba does get back on the end of it. This is a long ball looking for Brock, but a bit too much of a heavy touch. Sees it go out for a goal kick. Saliba. Oscar Moore leaves it. <coughs> Bang. And it's Matias Aloisi. Does give away. Free kick. To his opposition in this game, but his club teammate. And it will be a yellow card as well to Aloisi. See, 
in the reserve side. Everett goes to the shot. Does go over the crossbar though. Some intent football here. West Beach Park's Intercol 2023 20, 17th annual edition of this intercollegiate event. Soccer is only one of the six events going on over three days. Saliba is pushing forward, finds Brock, gets on the end of it, trying to position himself nicely and unfortunately sends it out. Slapina with the goal kick for Black Fries. Now final 10 minutes of this second half. Scores still tied down here at West Beach. Which does mean we'll go to penalties to decide the winner. Cavuto. Simmons. Phyllis is there. Gets it. Thang. Back to Phyllis. Black Fry stringing a few passes together. Thang. Finds Battistella. It's Battistella on his right. Getting himself in good up in the good position. Try and take the shot. Deal with though. Cavuto. These final moments down here at West Beach Parks will start to get a little bit heated. <laughs> Riley Simmons. Cavuto is there as well. Numbers for CBC. Up forward. It's Phyllis. Gets in the way. Will be a throw in. Christian Brothers College. Was Phyllis being a little bit cheeky there? Trying to take the three. The throw in, sorry. Medicoulas. And we out. On CBC. The crowd a little bit subdued down here at West Beach Parks. Not sure if it's the early morning. There's Brock Mitchell on the end of it. And will be goal kick given. start to the morning some early morning football it's an opportunity now just outside the area fortunately Cavuto doesn't get the shot off of the boot as he would have hoped the chanting here we go as I said, <laughs> it was a bit subdued down here. They're both livened up. I won't repeat the chants, but uh, Blackfriars started it and then CBC repeated it. It's 
what we love to see, those final five minutes. And could reflect on the field as well. And the liveliness up here could eager edge on those players on the pitch. A little bit further to try and get a winner for either side. Does well Everett. Everett's fighting back for it. Puntafanti sends it along. It's Cavuto to take the throw. Baracela. Vasilevsky. Saliba. Ben Saliba. Long ball to Simmons. Does well. Santafanti. It's Brock back on the end of it. Whips it in the area. Cavuto's there. Does take out Cullen James. And final three minutes down here at West Beach Parks. Still level. One apiece. A goal in the first minute. For CB for Blackfriars. The equaliser in the second half, 15 minutes in, for Christian Brothers College from Cavuto. It's Brock, and it's an own goal! Looked like it came off Callan James. And CBC are in the lead in the final two minutes. <laughs> Celebrations ongoing down here in West Beach Park. <laughs> Still two minutes of play to go. CBC have come out very lively in this second half. And now take the lead after two goals in the second half. Blackfriars have got a bit to do in these final two minutes. We've got to try and break it down quickly. Very little time to get one back and the equaliser would be enough to get them to penalties to decide the winner. They've done very well though in that first half especially. Simon Catazzaro's side. Well they're coming up against the Div 1 champions the CBC. He's still alive Will be a corner kick. Blackfriars, another opportunity to get back in it. That final 30 seconds. Sorry, another five minutes, potentially the clock may be a little bit out. So we've still got a bit more time then in here. 
Players, are you paying attention to the clock? So that means Blackfriars do have a little bit more time to get back into this one. It's not all done and dusted, but another goal could be costly if they do concede. Batistella plays it out to Habonamana. It's whipped back in the area. Quickly headed out. <coughs> These calls are offside. Flag was up very early. Mason Ayubi is firing forward. It's Cullen James trying to break him down. Taken down in the area, but it was all good for the official. Although a handball right there is going to be a free kick for CBC. I believe we've got three minutes of time left in this half. Of Enough time for Blackfriars to still get back in this. They had the earlier lead, have let go of that in the second half. Straight to the hands, Lupino. Not much work needed for that one. Bonamana. He's got Phyllis to get around. Wins the throw in. We take him very quickly. Much time wanted to be wasted by Simon Catanzaro's side. Played out to Cullen James. James in the area. Tries to stay on his feet. Still alive for Blackfriars. It's Phyllis with the clearance. Final moments down here, West Beach Parks. Oscar Moore. And we'll be cleared out. Buses are coming in now to pick up the students to take them back to school or their next event. Up on the man up, he's looked up, realised the ball was there and will be cleared out though, will be throw in. Quickly want to get back into play. Only moments left. To get back in this. Well, the last two years, he's had six goals 
in this fixture. This year only three so far. Brock's coming in. Ayubi. That does go out for a throw in. Saliba to take it. Almost time down here. Referee looks to his watch. That could be it for CBC. That could be the winners again for the fifth time in a row in this first 11 soccer between CBC and Blackfriars. It's quickly cleared. Sintafanti to Phyllis. They're playing it down the left now. They try and get it in. For one more opportunity to seal the win. And that's it. Full time down here. CBC are winners for 2023. The Intercol. Their fifth year in a row. And what a great win and come back from Marcella Karuska's side, Simon Karanzaro's side as well. Did very well to get the early lead in that opening minute, but not enough to stay on top. And the chants are going, and they will continue all day now. The bragging rights to CBC. One win in their cap for the Intercol. So we've got a few more games in hand as well with other events still to come between these two schools. But thank you for joining us here at West Beach Parks for this game. CBC, the winners, 2-1 over Blackfriars. I'm your commentator, Johnny Kekko. Thank you for joining us. And what a great game of football it was here today at West Beach Parks.